I never thought I would, it would be so easy for me to just push go live like that. I didn't see that coming. Welcome back to the Strategic Stripping Podcast. I'm your host, Valeska Bloom. Today's topic is on breathing. This is going to be a very short lesson. Um, okay. And let me tell you, first of all, why it's going to be on breathing. So earlier, well, I, I tend to be kind of uptight. Um, I could feel it in my body, the pressure in my neck and stomach and chest and face and God, you have no idea the stress bumps that I get. It's crazy when you dig deep in there, the crunching that's going on. And I definitely know, I believe in part, I mean, everything's connected, but I definitely think in part that a huge part of the reason why is because I don't breathe deep enough. Actually, I remember going to my dad when I was probably maybe 12 years old and I remember telling him I felt like I was like suffocating myself because I couldn't, I felt like most of the time I couldn't breathe. Isn't that weird? Um, so maybe I just always haven't breathed deep enough my whole life and it's, I'm positive, you know, that makes a big, you, that's the only thing you can only go in life without a few minutes, uh, before you die, you know, so, well, some people a lot more than that, but you know what I mean. So the reason why, um, I am, want to do this tonight is because I was downstairs with my mom earlier and I was rubbing her feet and she needed to go to the bathroom so when she went into the bathroom I decided to lay down we have an infrared mat and something called a beamer which is a PEMF machine it's a pulse electromagnetic frequency machine and basically pulses your capillaries your blood capillaries to make them open up um, and I decided to lay down on that and then I put this like pulsing red light on my head too. I put one over here and then waited eight minutes and did it over here. But as soon as I started, I started to think that I wanted to also do a breathing exercise. And when I was down in Florida, I had started to, um, I had read a book or started reading a book called Stress Less, Accomplish More. I made a video about, about it, part of it uh, called Meditation for Strippers talking about this particular exercise that I'm about to talk to talk about right now. Um, so when I was doing this earlier, after about three minutes, I compl like I noticed my entire body had just completely relaxed. And like everything, I noticed that my face had calmed down, that I didn't I just had no type of tension anywhere in my entire body. So the results were amazing. And right before I started this video, I also did it again. And I wanted to time it and see how long it took me to fully completely relax. And this time it took me seven minutes about to relax from head to toe. And, um, and I have a feeling it's because I was actually counting the inhale and the exhale like she suggests on doing in the book. I think if you skip that, I'll tell you in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna explain what it does to your body and then if you would like to go through a breathing exercise with me, this particular one, tomorrow I'm gonna take this video down and re-upload it. I just said I would go live every day, so I had to do this live. So tomorrow I'm gonna take this video down and re-upload it with the whole breathing exercise on it. I don't wanna do it right now because first of all, I just did it and I need to get to sleep and um, editing will make it actually a lot better to do tomorrow because the, I'm going to change the inhale and the exhale and it'll just be easier to time it than to time it while I'm doing it in real time. So we're going to start off with inhaling for two seconds and exhaling for four. Inhaling for three seconds and exhaling for six. Inhaling for four seconds and exhaling for eight. You just double the exhale. Um, but like I said, I, I've noticed when I did it earlier, it, I felt like I relaxed a lot faster. And I think it's because I wasn't counting, keeping track of the numbers, which is why it'll be easier for you because I'm just going to have a, a video that'll show you when to inhale and when to exhale and I'll pulse them a little bit differently. So there'll be a little bit of a different type of rhythm, kind of keep it a little bit different. We'll start off really slow and then, and then get up uh, higher. So I'm gonna read a clip from the book and it's very short uh, to tell you what this what this meditation exercise does. And yeah, I already told you all that. If it's something that you wanna do on a regular basis or randomly, yeah, just don't inhale, don't count the inhale and exhale. Just your body will know when your exhale has been longer than your inhale. 
it's personal opinion. I don't know. She studied this a lot more than I have. So, um, okay. She says, and this is from stress less, accomplish more from what I've read of it already. It's really ridiculously good. I, I really need to read the rest of it. So she says this simple, but powerful breathing technique can keep you from spiraling into a cesspool of stress. You can't negotiate with your stress when you're in fight or flight mode and you can get into fight or flight mode very easily because our brains are still very old. A huge portion of them is very old. So when Joe Blow yells at you, it can actually scare you even though he doesn't matter in your life and whatever. It's just so it's easy to go into fight or flight mode very easily. And people, unlike animals, we stay, she didn't say any of this stuff, but we stay in um, fight or flight mode. We don't get out of it like a gazelle. When a gazelle has a deer or uh, has a lion chase him, he's, you know, stressed out, his blood's going all his extremities so he can run, his heart's pumping, like whatever, he's out. And, but then as soon as the lion's gone, as soon as he knows the lion's gone, he doesn't stay in that stressed out mode all day. He just calms down and goes back to eating grass. Um, but that's not how people work. People get worked up over the most stupid shit ever, ever. And they don't, most, mass majority of people do not have any type of protocol or even think about a way to calm themselves down and equip being in fight or flight mode, which is extremely bad for their body because now their cortisol levels are going crazy and they're still producing this stress thinking about an event that happened a while ago. Like it's over. It doesn't matter anymore, but people will relive this event in their minds. They'll tell people about it. They'll, you know, go off about it. I cannot stand it when people call me and they're like, try to tell me, I'm thinking about my sister in particular. She will call me and she'll start to tell me about traffic. I'm like, listen, I never want to hear about your traffic experience ever again. I'll tell it to anyone that consistently brings me the same problem. And I've gotten sh even shorter with it now because I'm like, listen, I don't need to hear that. And you don't need to relive it because it's only hurting both of us. And that's my opinion. A lot of people feel like they need to vent and whatever. I'm not the person to vent to. That's like a definite, like if you're looking for a solution, sure. But if you're looking to vent, I'm not your girl. Okay. So it says the amygdala takes over in the ancient preverbial part of the brain. Uh, the amygdala takes over. It's the ancient preverbial part of the brain. So it doesn't understand language. That's why you can't just tell it to calm down and it just calm down. It doesn't understand spoken language, I should say. To communicate with it, you use your body to speak to it and, and let it know that it's okay to relax. So she says the magic of this exercise is, I'll, I'll get to your, I'll read your comment as soon as I get off of here, as soon as I'm finished uh, with this, which should be soon. YouTube doesn't make it easy to keep up with comments. I'll tell you that right now for sure. Um, to communicate with it, you use your body to speak to it and let it know it's okay to relax. She says the magic of this exercise is in doubling the length of the exhale. This calms the vagus nerve, one of the main connections between the brain and the body. As you breathe like this, it relaxes and information can start to flow from your brain to your body and vice versa, which makes me wonder what, like how much is not flowing most of the time because most people are stressed out most of the time. So she says that this will help open you up to solutions as they present themselves. She said specifically from nature. And I mean, nature is all around us, but most people don't live in nature. So I'm assuming it just will open you up to solutions as they present themselves. So I already told you how this works. You inhale and then double the exhale, no matter what your inhale is. And if you want to do it with me tomorrow, I would be happy to do it with you tomorrow. It'll be better because I'll have it like timed and whatever. And I'll have cool like meditation music going on in the background. We'll do it for three to five minutes or something like that. Um, and yeah, so this feels really good, like really, really, really good. And I hope that y'all come back and give it a try tomorrow because it's going to be awesome. Well, really, there's only one girl in here right now. I think it's a girl, maybe a guy. I don't know, but I've got to go to bed. I will talk to you for a second though. Um, and yeah, that's it. So for my video edit, I love y'all have an excellent night, uh, happy, positive, enlightening day or evening or night or whatever it is for now. So take care of yourself. And for you, let me check and see what you said. I think your name was C, maybe. This is, uh, 
My Girl C. I don't think so. Let's see here. Yes, this is the first. Uh, this is the first time I've seen you in the room. That's for sure. Sorry, I know I just kind of cut that kind of um, abruptly, but it's been a really long day. It's like 4:30 in the morning. Is it? Yeah, it's 4:40 in the morning. So I have to go. But is there any questions you wanted to ask me before I go? If you have any anything you want to talk about real quick, um, I'll be open to talking about it. I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep for a minute anyway because got all this blue light in my face now. <laughs> anything, anything. I'm going to give you a couple seconds and then, and then I'm going to hop off of here. Stretch. Oh my God. I still have to do yoga. I just realized I still have to do yoga. I won't be getting in bed until five. God, I want to go down and get some coffee before I, I might do that. I might go get some coffee. I stopped taking coffee so much because Okay, all right, cool. I'm glad that you're in the group too. Currently doing yoga as well. Oh, good, okay, yeah, it's, it's the best. <laughs> it's the best, it's something that's kept me like, legitimately it's kept me sane, really. Hello, you're the person with the kids, right? That does yoga, got a yoga channel for kids or something. Sounds like, sounds awesome. I told you, I think, uh, God, I wish I had, <laughs> I really wish I had started doing yoga when I was a kid. 18 does not count. Not at all. All right, well, I'm going to get off of here because I do need to do yoga before I go to bed. And uh, um, and I want to try to wake up at like 8.30. So, well, that's good. I'll have plenty of sleep. I'm a dolphin chronotype, so we don't need much sleep. So have a good night, you guys. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys uh, maybe tomorrow. Ciao.